extensions in. As you can see, I have pretty fine, thin hair. This is just for me blow drying it a little bit ago, and this is like what it looks like if I do nothing to it. So it's like, it doesn't really complement much. I don't, there's not like a lot going on here. I don't feel like it's the most flattering. I wish my natural hair was, you know, like cute and I could just like rock it, which I don't know. I just, it's not my style. Like it's just very thin and you can't do much to it. So it's definitely getting longer. I cut my hair uh, about a year ago-ish, really, really short. So it's grown really far since then. So I'm happy with the length of it, it's just I need more volume. So that's why I'm bringing you today's video with Lacer hair extensions. I'm just going to throw these in just to really give me more volume and just look so much better than this drab, straight, fine, thin hair. Like I am just an extension queen. I've been wearing extensions, gosh, for so long now. I would say at least 10 years now I've been wearing extensions, I feel like, or almost 10 years. So. I'm just not used to wearing my hair like this. I like thin hair for even like working out and stuff. Like it's not ever in my way and just putting it up is really easy and then like it curls really easy and like different styles is really easy to do. But just for like overall looks wise and like looking really good in pictures, this thin hair just it ain't it. So I always resort to extensions. So I'm trying out these new extensions today by Lacer Hair. Never tried these before. As you can see, I just opened the package now and the extensions are still boxed in here. Not even opened yet. This will kind of be just like a first impression of these. Like I said, never tried these before. So I'm excited to just kind of bring you a little different tutorial to my channel today and how I apply my extensions. I have high hopes for these. These are on the more affordable side. So if you're not looking to spend like 300 plus on extensions, which is what they normally are, you can resort to a, an extension like this. You can order these easily off Amazon. You can just search this brand and I got the 22 inch just because that was the longest and I usually like just to get the longest because while I'm not really looking for length I just like to do the longest because over time when you are styling these with a straightener or a curling iron they do start to get a little bit funky on the ends because it's like your real hair you know if you just style it constantly all the time it would just start to look really like not as healthy on the ends so that's what happens with these so over time I kind of just cut them a little bit shorter so they just continue to stay looking healthy and fresh so I always get the longest but obviously you can get whatever length you want this is the longest, like I said, the 22 inch, but you can get, I believe the 20 inch and like a 16 inch, something like that, definitely shorter. And these are real human hair extensions, so you can style them however you want, curl them, straighten them, wave them, whatever, wash them, dry them, add different colors to them. You can do all that just because it's real human hair. And I got the extensions where it's kind of more darker at the root and then it gets really bleach blonde towards the end. I usually just get more extensions that are just bleach blonde overall, but I wanted to try something a little different because my root, as you can see, it's just a little bit darker than my hair all over. Let's get to unboxing these extensions from Lacer Hair and see what they look like. Let's check out the quality and everything of them. Then I'll kind of show you how I put them in for my head. So when you open the box, your extensions just come in a little package like this, just so they stay nice and fresh inside. And they've been folded for a little bit now, so they might be a little funky when I first put them in and I might have to straighten them or curl them or whatever I plan to do. And then also you have some extra little wefts that come in there in case one falls off your hair extension, you can sew it back on. So that's nice that they add little extra ones in there. And then you also have these false lashes they throw in there for like an extra little goodie. So that's just another little bonus. That's very cute they do that. And then they have a little bag. I guess that you can fit your extensions in if you want. I personally like to just hang mine kind of like on a hanger so they stay nice and straight. But it comes with a nice little bag if you need it for travel or anything like that. So it's nice that they add those little accessories in there. So let's open this bad boy up. And these are just simple clip-in extensions. They should be fairly easy to put in. I've been putting extensions in for so many years now, so it's kind of just like second nature to me by now. So they come wrapped really nicely so nothing falls out. I'm assuming I need to cut this. Let me get some scissors. Okay, so I just cut those little things off the extensions. So it comes out looking like this. And first impression so far, these extensions feel really nice and soft and 
just like if you were to just come out of the salon and your hair feels like really silky and smooth that's the texture of these so i'm really impressed with how this feels so far as you can see it's kind of laying a little funky because how it was in the packaging but we'll just straighten them once we put them in and it might not look bad when you put them in sometimes you just never know and you have tons of wefts love that because the variation of different wefts is good because you don't exactly know where you want it on your head so this is a four wef next is a three wef then you have a two wef then you have another two wef then you have a three wef and then you have two separate little one wefs which i personally like these best for styling on the sides up closer here i think these work really great so it comes with one two three four five six seven different little clips that you can put around your head so that is a very good amount for adding extra volume in different areas of your head where you need it. I like how when it comes with extra wefts like that and several varying different pieces like this, you can really customize it to your head and where you want them placed exactly. And as you can kind of tell, it's a little bit darker at the root and then it fades down and gets much blonder. So I'm gonna start with this three wef at the base of my skull down here. I always start at the bottom. So I'm just gonna section my hair and put it up with this little clip doesn't have to be perfect either just throw it up so as you can see I just do a little hair back here just enough so that the three wefts have something to cling onto so you have these like so and then I will just clip it to the back and these wefts feel really heavy duty like they're not gonna break or that they don't feel like really cheap or nothing so that is the first one clipped in yeah these wefts feel really nice quality so I just clipped it into that first layer. You kind of want to start with a smaller weft there because the base of your skull, you know, is not very big down there. So then we can move up to the four weft after this one because your head starts to get larger in that middle area. So then I will take that hair down. And like I said, we'll be moving on to the next bigger weft. Again, sectioning off my hair, just adding another layer so the wefts of that extension we're gonna put in have something to hold on to. And you wanna make sure you don't get too high up, otherwise when your hair is down, you're gonna see the extension through your hair. If you have thicker hair, that's probably not gonna be an issue, but because I have thinner hair, I have to be careful of that, that I don't go too high up. So I like to stick to keeping my extensions closer towards the bottom of my head. So that feels pretty good to me. So this is what it looks like so far. It's not perfect by any means, but then we're gonna clip that four wef right here. Then I will take that down. Next, we have a, another three weft that I'm gonna be putting in on top of the four weft, placing my hair back up so it has a little bit more hair to grasp onto. Placing the three weft above the four weft. So then we have one, two, three different extensions in the back of our head. So that's really already adding some obviously length and really good volume. So then we are gonna move on to the sides of our hair. So now we have two two wefts left and two single wefts left. And you don't obviously have to use all of the extensions that it comes with, but because your girl has her thin hair, we gotta throw them all in. So I'm gonna start with this side and kind of clip it back so it's up and out of the way. So I'm gonna do a double weft over on this side of my head. Like so. And then we will do one single weft on top of that. Just so we have some extra volume on the sides here because my hair kind of tends to be more thin on the sides. So then we will take that down, make sure no extension is showing through. And moving to the other side, clipping that back out of the way. 
Moving on to a 2F to start with on this side. Just clipping that in. Like that. And sometimes it helps if you take a little, where is it? A little comb like this and just tease where you want the extension to be. I always don't find that I need to do that, but sometimes it helps you feel more like your extension where you're placing it is more secure. If that area is teased, it has more grip for that weft to hold onto. So just know that before you place it in there, you can kind of tease that area and then put the weft in. But like I said, I don't always feel like that's necessary just because I've been doing extensions for a while, so I kind of know where I want it and how it's gonna hold and everything. So just another little reference if you feel like you need some extra grip that you can tease where you are gonna be placing the extension at. So then lastly, we're gonna be putting in this single web right on top. Make sure that is good and golden. I feel like this side of my hair tends to be a little bit more thin, so I have a little bit of a harder time putting the extension in. They definitely add length, let me tell you. I am pretty happy with them. Obviously, I need to straighten it. It doesn't look like too perfect right now, so I'm going to go ahead and straighten these really quick. But this is what we're looking like. Such a big difference. So this is what they look like after I just straighten them. They were very easy to straighten just because they have that silky smooth kind of texture to them still. They're really nice quality. So they just straightened really nice right now because they're brand new and they don't have any product in them yet. Obviously you can curl them, wave them, and do whatever you want, but I kind of just wanted to straighten them. I don't always keep my hair straight when I wear extensions, just because after you curl them a few times, it takes a lot of straightening to get them back straight again, which is very doable, but I just am kind of lazy, and once I curl them, I don't really straighten them. And I'm not always the most fond of me with straight hair. I'm just so used to my hair being curled, so I just kind of wanted to switch it up and see how it would look with just perfectly straight hair. I feel like also when you first just get extensions, they look so good when you just have them straight for a while because when they're brand new, like I said, there's no product in them, so they just look really nice and lush and just good quality. So I feel like starting out when you get the extensions, it just feels really good just to have them straight like how they come. The length of them is perfect for me. I feel like it's not too overly long, so I'm happy with the 22 inch. And the volume is perfect for me because I have thinner hair and these extensions are a little bit more on the thin side. They are 140 grams. It can go up to like 220, like up in that range for thickness. So I think these are a nice starter kind of extension because they are the thinner 140 grams for me for the thin hair. I feel like looks perfect so if you have super thick hair these are going to look great as well because you don't really need them too much for volume you just need it for length and i use these for volume because my hair is so much thinner than what you're seeing right now obviously earlier in the video my hair was like pencil thin and this just makes me feel so much better but like i said there is not as much hair on these extensions as i'm normally used to i'm used to a little bit of a thicker extension but these are perfect for a more affordable extension. They will get the job done, especially if you're not wanting to spend a whole bunch of money on extensions. These, I believe, were about 100 and... 12. I know they weren't more than $120, so that is a really good deal for extensions like this, I feel like, for more on the affordable side. Obviously, my hair is not going to get any thicker than what it is. I wish I could change that, but, you know, we got to work with what we got, so I'm just really thankful I have extensions, and I'm really thankful that I was able to collab with Lacer Hair on today's video, and I want to thank them for gifting me these extensions. It's really nice because you can easily access them off of Amazon and just get it shipped straight to your house really fast, especially if you have Amazon Prime, like you can get it in two days if you are liking these extensions. So if you're looking for some good extensions, I highly recommend these starting out. Like, I don't think you would be disappointed. It feels really nice quality. You can kind of style it and do whatever you want with it. Do some cute braids or a high pony. These will be perfect for you and look really realistic and not like you have too much hair going on in your head. So I'm going to take you guys kind of more in the natural light so you can kind of see better the extension and the color and the length a little better. So let's go. Excuse me? Who is she? I need to find somewhere to set you so you can really 
see the extensions we got going on here. Yeah, I feel like this is a much better view of the color of them just because I have you in front of the window for the really natural light. As you can see, kind of the ends better. I think it looks really realistic. Like, I love them. I think these are so perfect for some really affordable extensions because extensions can get really pricey. So if you're just looking for, like I said, some more affordable, really nice quality ones, these are it. I should have straightened this side a little bit better, but that's gonna bug me. It's not terrible. I'll leave everything in the description box below so you can find these extensions, the exact ones I have in color-wise and length and everything, it's just in case I'm like saying it wrong. But I got the golden brown kind of root with the bleach blonde at the bottom more. I will definitely be wearing these when I wear my hair straight because my other extensions I have are just, I've been using them too much so they just don't look that good straight anymore. And because these are so fresh and new, these are just gonna look really good with straight hair like this. So catch me on the gram because I'm gonna be wearing my hair like this all the time. So I feel it looks really natural with my thin hair. I'm into it. Hopefully you guys are too. <laughs> If you want to see any more like kind of hair tutorials and how I style my fine thin hair, just let me know in the comments below. I would love to kind of know your guys' feedback on that. And as you guys would have seen from me putting them in, I had a lot of wefts in my hair and you cannot see them at all. It really pays off how you place them in your head and you need to make sure that you don't go too high up on your head. The highest I went is right here. So if you went up too high, you're really gonna see the extension through your hair. So hopefully you got a better idea of how to place the extensions in your head so you can hide them very easily and so they look more natural and real on you. They might be coming off a little bit more yellow than my actual hair, but that's like really easy to do is just kind of tone them even with like a blue shampoo to get the yellow out more. I feel like is really easy and anyone can do that. You can just go buy some blue shampoo if it's too yellow and just get that yellow out of the extensions. If I do, I'll let you guys know if I use the blue shampoo or not because like I said, these are real Remy human hair so you can do whatever you want to these extensions and it won't ruin them. They have tons of different colors and I think you can reach out to them and do like a color match if you're not sure what color to do. So if you did like today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me to have your support. So I'll be sure to leave everything in the description box for you that you would possibly Possibly need for more info on this hair and I hope that you're having an amazing day week month year you deserve it never forget that you are your power you can do anything in this world that you put your mind to the only one that's stopping you is yourself so don't let your mind do that to you get out of that negative thought pattern push yourself do what it is that you want to do so I will see you in my next little video mm -hmm.